painters will tell you it's not how you paint a room that determines the quality of the job, it's how you prep it before you get started. Yeah, that's right. We've got our home improvement expert here, so let's ask her. That's right. The actual painting is probably the quickest part of the whole process. I find that if I spend the extra time prepping, I can shorten the time it takes to paint with better results. Look at the walls and use drywall patch to cover any cosmetic cracks or nail holes. You'll need to know the surface you're painting. Has it been previously painted? If so, was it with oil or water-based paint? This is important because if it was oil-based, then latex or water-based paint won't stick to it and will peel off. I recommend lightly sanding your walls and baseboards so that the surface has some teeth to hold the paint. After sanding the walls, wash with TSP or mild soap and water to clear any dust or dirt. Now the walls are prepped and ready to be painted. But before you do that, you need to protect your floor. And the best way to do that is with drop cloths. Here's my tip. Don't buy the cheap plastic drop cloths. They have a tendency to tear. Instead, buy heavy plastic sheeting or go to one of those discount stores and buy shower curtains for a buck a piece. If you're painting a small area, these will do the trick. If you have a fireplace or door or window frames, most people prefer to tape off the areas that need to be protected. When you apply the tape, use a putty knife to tamp down the edges to keep the paint from bleeding under the tape. Now you're ready for the first coat, primer. So if you prepare to paint before you paint, then the painting will be the easiest part of the job. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm Daylin Matthews, America Now.